Hey everybody, welcome back to Nuvidian's channel and today we look into making our Nux production builds way faster with Roll Down Wheat. Here we go. Of course, everyone would like to have faster builds. That means also faster CI time, right? Better testing, etc., etc., and also lower costs. So we can achieve this without doing much with one simple change. And this all revolves around Roll Down Wheat. If you haven't heard of Rolldown yet, well, it's a super fast Rust-based bundler, of course, for JavaScript. It's fully compatible to Rollups API and also draws inspiration from prior art. So from other existing bundlers like ES build, but also Webpack in terms of optimization. And it will be the default in Vite. In fact, there is already a distribution called Rolldown Vite that is, well, the Rolldown powered version of Vite. And it's a package, it's a drop in replacement, and we use it to make things faster. So take a look, all the links to the docs are also in the description, but now we test the whole thing in our Nuxt sandbox application. As usual, we start with our minimal Nuxt application, just some styling, compatibility date set, that doesn't matter much, and an indexed view, that could also be an apt view, it doesn't matter here, and we're good to go. Now let's have a look at the package.json, because here we see commonly Nuxt, view and view router, and there is no Vite installed. That's because, well, Vite is a transitive dependency of Nuxt itself if you use the Vite builder. Actually, you can also use Nuxt with things like RSPack or Webpack if you really need to, but commonly you wouldn't want to. Vite is default and there are good reasons. Now we want to make sure we override that dependency of Vite because we want to specify that it should be uh, aliased with Roldan Vite. And if you've seen my video on package overrides, you already know how that works. So definitely take a look at that. Still, we will do that here real quick by defining pnpm overrides, and then we put in vite here. And to alias that, we want to say take it from npm, and we want to use roll down vite at the latest version. And we're good to go here. Now we just have to run pnpmi. And if we now run pnpm y vite, we will see that actually there is no result. Because we use roll down vite instead of vite now, it will show okay. Instead, this is the dependency for all the things listed here, right? From the vite plugin view over to the actual Nux dependencies using them directly. And that's exactly what we want. And now we can actually run the build with pnpm build and it will be faster. But now you might wonder, wait, how much faster? Is that the whole thing even worth it? And the answer to this is, as usual, it depends. Actually, there is a big list of Roland Weed perfwins. It's a repository that uh, collects all the information from projects, no matter which framework they use, where they switch over from Vite to Roll Down Vite and see improvements. And some improvements reach like 22.3x compared to before using Vite. So from, for example, 47.27 seconds over to just two seconds. But once again, that depends a lot on what you actually do under the hood, which plugins you use, in addition, which mode modules you use, etc., etc. So let's go to some actual Nuxt examples. And for that, there is a PR open to actually run the Nuxt version against the actual Roldan V dependency and see how that will work. Maybe at some point we could get into that in some kind of CI as well, but for now, that should work. If we scroll a bit down, then we will see the Codspeed HQ bot here, which gives a performance report. That actually happens for all the PRs to see if some benchmark changes, so we don't actually introduce some kind of performance regressions. And here we see that the initial production build in the minimal test fixture, which is one of the tests, improves from 5.4 seconds to 2.1 seconds, which is a 2.6x increase. Keep in mind, this is only the minimal test fixture. So if you have own code, this value probably will also go up and scale. So that's, a, that's great news, actually. If we look further into this benchmark, then we also see that the other benchmarks didn't really do anything here. That's because, well, the initial dev server build that really doesn't change anything because Roldan Vite has no influence on the dev server yet. The power of yet. That will come in the future. And the rest is for loading Nux config, loading Nux, etc. So it's not really testing how long the fixture actually takes. It might be interesting in the future to also add, I don't know, the basic test fixture to see how that will load because that's a bit more comprehensive. And I'd be curious if you give it a try, then what, what your numbers will be. Also, feel free to add them to the repository I've shown, link in the description, it's always good to crowdsource some more information. But of course, this isn't the only example here. Another example is Nux.com itself, which runs on Rolldown Vite under the hood already. For this, I submitted a PR a little bit ago, we profiled a bit, we took a look, and 
Let's see what the CI gave for that. We can take a look first at a normal deploy before the change. And here we see that the client build was roughly 53.46 seconds. Then of course, we also have a server build in addition, which is a bit shorter. And everything after that with pre-rendering, etc., that's not relevant anymore because then Rodon V doesn't touch anything from there. And if you compare that to the change after Rodon V, well, then we will see here, now the client build completes in under 30 seconds. So this is not exactly the 2.6 improvement. That's mainly because there are a few things happening that Rodon V simply can't speed up, like running TSC to get the component meta, which is necessary for Nuxt UI and a few other parts. So there are some optimizations that definitely uh, can be done in the future, but are just not there right now. And that's also the task of the respective modules to make their own performance improvements. But luckily we've identified a few things that we definitely want to improve and they are internally already on the list. Issues will follow. It's also important to mention that Nitro from version three on will support rolldown as rollup alternative, but Nitro version two, which it runs right now in Nux three and four, right? Because V3 will only come with version five, Nuxt 5 with Nitro 3 and Nuxt 4 and Nuxt 3 will go with Nitro 2, except you might enable them through some experimental flags in the futures. So here, Puya made clear that no, there won't be any backports because of quite a few things. It would take a lot of maintenance work. And then we have roll down also in Nitro, eventually in Nitro version 3, and then whenever that lands in Nuxt. That also means that the roll down beat optimization, of course, applies very well to the Nuxt build, but everything happening in Nitro, at least right now, is not affected. In the future, it will be, because Nitro is also becoming just a Veed plugin, right? If you ha haven't heard about that, uh, let me know if we should talk about it in the video or not. There is one last thing, actually. When you run your build, you might see these weird warnings, at least right now, if you are on Nuxt version 403 or lower. Don't worry about that, that's totally fine. But still, they are annoying. They might cause some trouble when you're like, okay, is that broken, does not work? but that's all okay. Luckily, there is a PR that was finally merged with a lovely commit number, actually. Never seen that before. Uh, that will make sure that these warnings are not showing up and we just delete the respective unused options and make sure everything is rolled out compatible if roll down beat is detected. So if you're interested in that, also link is in the description and more PRs to leverage roll down beats amazing features like a faster replace plugin, for example, are in the work so we can all make sure that it's performant and as performant as possible. Also including plugin hook filters, so the interoperability between uh, the Rust-based bundler calling JavaScript plugin functions, well, that's less overhead, so we don't have to call them again and again and can filter the files, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So TLDR, you can try out Roland Veed. Make sure though, it's very important as it is, well, it's a technical preview, right? It's not stable, otherwise it would be part of Veed already that you test your production build and your outcome. So make sure, ideally you have automated tests for that or QA or staging environment, but please make sure that's the case. Uh, otherwise you might see a bad surprise if there's something weird you're doing or some bug. So if that's the case, let us know. Uh, feel free to report that, all the links in the description. Uh, if everything works well, of course, feel free to add your performance numbers to the lovely roll down V performance repository and if there's anything else you're interested in, any questions you have, then please drop them in the comments as usual. And I think that's kind of it, right? So have a great time. See you soon, latest next Friday in the next video. And until then, happy hacking.